All right, thanks for joining me again today. We're gonna to do another product review here for you, and I'm just gonna tell you right off the top, I'm pumped. Anybody who knows me knows I love AEDs, I love gadgets, I love training uh, uh, materials, uh, more specifically gadgets, flashy lights, all that type of stuff. I'm flat out in love with that type of thing. All right, uh, what we're gonna be checking out today is the Prestan AED Ultra Trainer. Now, this is a uh, smaller trainer from the other Prestan trainer. Uh, on the market, we got a chance to look. It was running about $99, $100, anywhere from that $99 to about $110 um, as far as this trainer goes. This trainer has a couple of features that I really like, so let's just dive right into it, right? All right, first thing, I like the little case. It's small, it's simple. If I want to uh, take a couple of these, I can just load them up. They're lightweight. When you pop the case open, everything is already in there. It's its own little carrying case. The pads, just like the other um, Prestan AED trainer, they're on the actual card, in which case we can just stick them right on there. It's got a neat, neat little spot for them to be stored in, and we've got plenty of cable on there for it to happen. Also, power button here, shock button here, and wait a minute, we got an extra button right here. So let's go ahead and jump into what that little extra button right there does. That extra button saves you the trouble of having to go back and forth, whether you're going to be doing child or adult training, whether you're gonna to have to connect different pads. So let's jump in and take a look. Adult patient, child patient, remove the child's shirt. With respect to it, just in a second, if I wanna go from adult to child, I don't have to reconnect any pads. I can actually just hit the button that makes it a child training device. On the pads, I've got pictures of the adult and the child. So the placement for each pad is shown for adult and child on the pads. I'm really excited about that because a lot of times you will uh, get the child pads and then you don't, you, you, some classes or some places you don't have a need to use the child pads. Some facilities or some places have a need and they want to know about the child and how to use the AED and how to apply the AED to a child. So you can do a full on practice session or you can just go ahead and break right out there on the adult and teach them how to do the child application at the exact same time. Uh, and it just enhances the classroom. So that's something I'm definitely uh, excited and pumped about. With respect to it, as always, it's a little digital device, so we know we've got a battery situation here we gotta look at. So let's take a look. And we're looking at three C batteries, which shouldn't be too bad again, depending on how much usage you actually have with respect to it and what your usage is gonna be. Again, because it is though a um, Preston mannequin, uh, a Preston AED with the pads that typically go on the Preston mannequin, it still has the same concern that I've had before though, is that we have that little sensor there. And that little sensor has to be on the mannequin. If you have a softer mannequin, such as the Sandy Man, you may have a little bit of a difficult time getting that pad to actually go ahead and uh, uh, read or be determined on that mannequin. Ideal for um, being on a Preston mannequin and it's also ideal for being on any other hard mannequins that you utilize. Some of the softer mannequins, such as your CPR prompt mannequins, your Sandy Man, um, if you've got some of the older Sandy Mans and they're not as uh, rigid, you may run into a little bit of difficulty. But with respect to it, all in all, I think it's a good product. You, though, will have to make the decision on whether it'll work out for you, whether it's something that'll benefit you. There's uh, pros and cons to every product, so make sure you do your research, and then also make sure you're out there uh, checking the different prices. Uh, you don't want to get yourself set with a uh, AED like this at twice the price because you didn't do your research on pricing. Like I said, they're averaging about 100 to maybe 110. 115 is about the most that I think we saw as we were looking for these, all right? Hey, hope you get a chance to check it out. If you like this video, uh, definitely leave us some comments below. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe for us below. Tell your friends about it, reblog it, share it with everybody that you know. If you have any questions or comments that you want me to address, drop them down there in the bottom. We'll try to get to them. Like I said, I can't guarantee I'm getting to all of them, but we will definitely try our best to get to them. All right, thanks a lot.